Ready? Fight! Testing. If you could hear me, please let us know, stream, because we're not sure if our marks are working right now. Oh, it is working. Oh, so if you can hear me, stream, uh, please let me know, because we're trying to figure out to our mics. Oh, okay. Yes, thank you, S. Gak. We have a microphone, because Bobby Siege wants to compensate his own match. It's going to be godlike. Wait, 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 where's the other But I'll let them uh, finish this match. So we have uh, Evil Cole and Sly versus Parappa and is that Drake? He's not that dumb. You can. I know. That's you, you why can, I don't call You can fill up. You can fill up the dark because our space is very low. Well. Yeah, I know, right? I can't even see what's going on, anyways. Well, well, people. People, people are fighting. Well, yes, people are fighting. And Evil Cole just got another kill. Nathan, Nathan Drake is getting dangerously close to level. Okay, so that escalated very quickly. Oh, I, did, I just looked away and I don't know what happened. Everyone's dead. What? What? Oh shit. Oh shit, this guy knows combos. What, Parappa? Yeah. Yeah, he has combos. No, 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 he knows them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, especially with an invisible sly. Oh, yellow flash kick! What a call out! You I don't know who he's trying to kill though. I guess Cole would be more of a threat. Uh, Pain did. Uh, Pain one persona and Aquapasa was uh, for, uh Ernest. Yeah. Does this one work? Hey, what's happening, world? I'm about to, uh, about to do some commentating here. I'm here with my partner, Mike Muscles Murphy, who's been carrying me. Yeah. And uh, normally I team with Daspro. Um, he could not be here today, so I've decided yesterday I picked up Sly Cooper, and I decided that uh, Sly Cooper Evil Cole would be a fun team. Sly Cooper isn't very good, but he's fun. 
Oh, hey, Arya Skate, how you doing? Let me, let me wrap this around my neck. No, don't! No, this game is amazing. It's the best. Awful. Oh, what, does, what, what do all these buttons do? They're different. Yeah, like, it goes to the top of the I, I kind of want to press okay. all of them. Like, like bodyguard. What's <laughs> bodyguard? It's, body it's, it's a... I don't know how to... It's a kill. Hey, they're talking about... Talking about Talking about Sackboy. Oh, they're talking about the pl the two characters we're gonna play on a team, Team Sackboy and Sackboy, Sackboy and Sackboy, best team. And they're supers. Who won the first match, Bobby? Bobby and friends. Put one by their name. Mash counter. That worked out for the worst. That time it worked out for the worst. Bobby is accidentally complicated. Look at how sick we are. Sick, I mean. I think, I think uh, we might have a problem. Yeah, he knows. Oh, yeah, the thing is, if he keeps doing the meter thing, I'll, he can just go pick it up. Hopefully, yeah. If we just corner him with projectiles. He was supposed to get nerfed Friday, I believe, but they had problems with the patch where it like crashed or like it had like a system problem, so they just pushed it to a later date. I'm not sure if it's in effect yet or we just didn't have this one updated yet. I'm gonna hang out with the stream monsters for a bit and Moogle Braid, my homie. I, I'm up. My Native American brother, yeah. You're up. You're not Native American? Oh, yeah. The fuck? Does that one work? Yeah, I think so. So what's our team name? Who cares? Try to see if this one works. Can they hear the can I'm talking. Can you hear me stream? Blah 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 blah. Yeah. 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 Hey, don't attack the stream monsters. Okay. <laughs> don't almost say anything. There you go. Team fuck, team fuck Tanner versus. All right, guys. Team so fuck Tanner. We're actually gonna deliver some commentary to you guys. Um, it is wait, wait. Mike Muscles you. Murphy. Boom. Oh, there we are. Mike Muscles Murphy and Bobby Siege are gonna be saying down. Uh, we have been playing this game, we have been taking this game seriously, and um, 
in January, we're going to go down to SoCal for SoCal Regionals to try to uh, show Alex Valle and his gang of miscreants what's up. Yeah, we're going to body them. Uh, I think so. Uh, I think Mike Eric, Muscles Murphy is... Change your controls. I changed them. I think Mike Muscles Murphy is easily one of the strongest um, evil cools around right now. Um, you use his mobility to the fullest. Like, any, who was it that we were talking about who was like, evil Cole has bad mobility? I, I don't Just remember, dumbass. but it's, it's wrong. Like, it's wrong. Being able to grind and jump, like, and fly across the screen? Yeah, definitely. Y you can't no. get caught. Not only that, but he has a... Uh, all right, his full name. His full name is Moogle Parade is the best. Why don't just take out Team? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just make it a true statement. He says, "Team fuck Team." Yeah, I remember Fuddruckers. So, fuck Team, fuck Tanner. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we went to uh, Datsbro and I went to Fuddruckers to play this game. Fuddruckers being a, uh, in the 925 area code. And that's a magical place. And why it's a magical <laughs> place is because there are things in that place where they think is true that no one else anywhere ever thought is true. Like, they are talking about how strong Toro was as a character and about, like, how, you know, Spike... How Kratos had, like, and Raiden aren't that yeah, strong. Yeah, Kratos and Raiden aren't very good. And then how... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, they're like, I just, I don't understand, does the dinosaur slide and we just can't do anything about it. Also, uh, for those of you... Uh, so, first you're going to do a Rochambeau to see who gets first uh, stage strike. With the other team. <laughs> Alright, so that means that you guys get to strike the first stage. You keep striking stages until there's one left. And then you play on that one. What? Oh, we're not going to do a ban by default this time. We're Not this time. Right, we play three stock, normal AP gain, items off, hazards off. I think that's just the way of play. Yeah. Like, uh, they said on a few of their articles that they, like, tried to balance the game around hazards such that hazards will be the same every time. But it's undeniable that some hazards just give some people yeah, better advantage. advantages. In some stages... Just I'm don't pushing make sense. for some stages to get banned, but you know other people are resilient. And but, well, people want like the game to be out for a while right. before they. And I agree with anything. that. I think that's really cool, but uh, you know, Kratos on stowaways isn't fun for anyone. Yeah, and like there's a few characters who on uh, the Jack and Daxter Sandover Village can just camp the water that and get level three. That is the worst stage ever designed. Yes, it, it's uh, without the fish that that stage is the worst stage the worst ever stage. designed. Sorry, I'm obviously a little bit biased about this. I um, I want to see this game grow, but you know, like SoCal, like everyone's debating over different rule sets. Like SoCal's doing first to five kills, which I really, really, really don't yeah, understand. Yeah, timed, timed doesn't make sense for a brawler like but this. But stream monsters, what has uh, what's worked for you? What rule sets have you enjoyed? What rule sets do you want to see playing determined? We're getting uh, a few stage hazards are awesome. I mean, there already are counterpick stages. Like, JoJo is really good for a few characters, like Raiden. Of course, Fox only, Final Destination. For example, JoJo probably really sucks for two sack boys. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm... First to five kills is bad because I think Sackboy is too powerful in that format. Uh, a few level threes are too powerful. Like, in that format. Alright, and we're going to get right into the match. Sackboy, Sackboy with Team Moogle Parade is the best. And Team Fuck Team Fuck Tanner with Radic and Jack. Yeah, they decided that uh, Sackboy, Sackboy was the ideal team for uh, trolling. Get out of here. And you know what? I have to agree. This fun, this seems just funny to watch. <laughs> Cakes uh, everywhere. They they were saying that one player is going to go for level three, and then the other one's going to go for level three by picking up the AP, and the other one's level three, <laughs> which you know isn't exactly realistic. Uh, realistic, but uh, it's funny, man. But man, 
player two already on one and a half bars. You know, I find Jack and Daxter actually, you know, even though everyone's like, oh, this isn't a very good character, he has invulnerability on his level one, which is very important to pay attention to. Because it's like a dragon punch, you know, if you think that they're going to mash something on your wake up or try me, just mash it out. I would also say uh, he probably has either the second best or he's up there for really, really good mobility. Yeah, he has excellent mobility. It's insane. Uh, so we're getting a few questions about how this game works. So the way this works is different moves build up AP and the more AP you build, the more meter you get. Uh, and to kill someone, you have to actually connect a super move. Each character has a level 1, a level 2, and a level 3 super. So right there was Radix level 1, which is an aimed missile. So like a few characters have combos to build a lot of AP, but then don't have good supers. And a few people have really good supers, but can't build that much AP. The uh, quote unquote best characters are the ones with both. Right. And can combo into their level 1s. Yes. Level 1s are... Having a good level 1 is very important in this game. Uh, or having a teammate that can help you combo into your mediocre level one. Yeah. Like, um, that's why Raiden and, uh, and Kratos can be so strong in teams. It's uh, the fact that Raiden, <laughs> Raiden can very easily set up level ones for uh, all sorts of different characters. So I have a feeling pretty soon we're going to see, yeah, in stock you don't really get points, it's just whoever dies first. But uh, we're probably going to see a level 3 pretty soon. Both Sackboys staying on level 2s. So this is actually really scary since uh, right now Jack and Daxter has two, uh, 2 meter. That's not really enough to dispose of the threat. First level 3 and uh, yep, just bombed And it. here we go. The this is probably going to be three. 4 or 5 kills. This level 3 is total bullshit. Yeah, throws do take away meter. So if someone's building up for level three, you want to throw. Oh them. wow, four kills! Isn't that really fun and cool? And aren't you glad it's in the game? And yes, I mean Sackboy's getting nerf, which I'm excited for. That's gonna make his level three much worse. Uh, Sackboy was already a, just a very strong character, and you just had to double team him, make sure that he didn't get his meter or a lot of grabs. Just deal with his options. All right, 1P about to get level 3, and, and 1P go. got level Good 3. Good game! Hey! <laughs> and then... Some people don't really understand the potency of that super. Yeah. Like, every other level 3 that has puts the opponent in a run state, they respawn as normal humans. However, that one, one makes you respawn as the bubbles. Uh, they're nerfing Sackboy by nerfing the cake AP, the jam session AP, and, he and requires more meter, more for, meter for all the supers. Uh, this game, in theory, is possible to play with stick. I haven't seen anyone do it yet. Yeah, but, no, uh, no, no, you can yeah, play on You stick. could probably do it. You can definitely play on stick. Like, the reason Sackboy is considered quote-unquote OP at the moment is because he has the cheapest level 3 and level 1 in the game at the moment. He just has really good options. Yeah. You know, um, oh, and by cheap, we don't mean broken. Just just inexpensive. It, different supers cost different amounts of AP. So yeah. his level 1 costs Sackboy 100. Sackboy costs 100 meter for his level 1. And his level 3 is 600. And it's relatively easy to combo into them. So. Yeah. And he gets 150 meter off every combo. So, wee -hee! Four yeah. combos, level 3, yay. No, uh, you can change the buttons. So you can change throw to a button. So uh, if you like hold up and then press the throw button, that would be an up throw. So you can you could probably actually play on a stick. It'd be different, but it's in theory possible. This is hilarious. I'm in, so happy about this right now. In my opinion, they probably should have counterpicked maybe good coal. Just sit in front with the uh, shield absorption. Cakes wouldn't be a problem. But uh, we've got some gun spam, and it's actually actually working out pretty well. I hate these guys right now. I hate these guys so much. The sack boys are separated. Oh! And just do it. Uh, yeah, YOLO from across the stage. The sign that his world is better. Those little balls and those cakes are very annoying because they have a lot of durability. 
not the cake, but the uh, the balls have a lot of durability. The jam session is amazing. Yeah. I mean, you don't need L2 and R2 uh, X really X. You can just uh, change L2 to pick up or pick up to L2, and taunt can be nothing. So then super is R1 and block is uh, L1. And just change throw to L2 or something. I don't know. I think it could work on stick. Alrighty. If they could get rid of one of the sack boys, if they get 2P, I think that they could do this. Oh, and Raidic gets a super interrupted. It makes me very happy that that onion kung fu master kicks off the walls and flies away. Little uh, little thing that I like. Moments with Bobby Siege. <laughs> the supers is just one button hit. Yes. No! Uh, and here's the first level one. Or sorry, not level one. Level three. And uh, the very fun thing about this stage is that you can get six kills on it pretty easily. Up. Uh, <laughs> and Yay. ladies and gentlemen, that's game. Yay. Solex a little bit salty about not being able to combo super. Very close. I can only combo super on that stage. Uh, yeah, we can do losers first. So the next up to play, so you guys stay on. You guys stay, or no, you guys stay on. We're going to do losers bracket. All right, here's losers. <laughs> oh, you have to use the restroom? So what is the screen thing? All right, go for it. Sackboy the best. <laughs> All right, so, so I'm going to move over yeah, to yeah, my good I, friend I Solex and tell him exactly how to play this game. So I whenever they knock you down on your wake up and you have level one, if it looks like they're going to pressure you, <laughs> mash the fuck out of your level one. It's like a DP. It has invulnerability. What can they do about dick? They can't do dick about it. Boom. There you go. Enjoy your free stocks. <laughs> and then if they start to figure it out, then, you know, you're fucked. <laughs> Everyone's getting mad. I'm mad. You're mad. He mad. She mad. Every mad. Everyone but Sackboy is mad. Everyone. Uh, Supers always will kill on hit, but you can dodge I'm them. I'm going to body you guys. Like, I don't... You cannot block supers as well. All right, guys. So it's that time of night where I talk about why Good Burger is the best movie ever made, and uh, this is my favorite I think part Good of the night. Good Burger is the best movie that's ever made because uh, of its original soundtrack. And great, and great character. Uh, what? Is, oh fuck! I'm tired. And great character development. I think that um, Keenan Mitchell's and Kel, other guy without a career, um, really put in work in that movie. It was funny. It was ridiculous without being, I would say, unenjoyable. Overbearing. Yeah, overbearing. Um, but yeah, Crichton's really strong. Side note there. It's like there's. There's a lot of very heartwarming moments of that movie. Nariko, Nariko has combos. Her supers are subpar. Um, Arthur Christmas is actually another very heartwarming film. My older brother cried twice during it. Hey, Calvin. And uh, shout outs to Calvin. Yeah, Calvin. No, Mike and I got knocked out. Heh heh heh. No, but uh, Arthur Christmas was honestly. Rise quite, of the Guardians is a fucking a good movie. Go see that. Like that's my two cents. I'm I'm happy that the standard of children's movies is rising. That the quality that they must be is rising. Dude, it's pitch Bobby's pitch possible. in that movie. He's he's badass. Like the fight scenes. Holy shit! Sandman goes to town. I don't understand why there's a Kappa face after the "I'm a dude" song. That was my favorite part of the movie. I'm a dude. He's a dude. dude. She's, She's a dude. dude. We're all dudes. Hey. Dude. 
All right, hold on. We got different teams. How do we change these teams? Fuck. <laughs> what do? Um. Where's Moogle? I'll go get him. I'll use my Native American call. Moogle! Jack Daniels! Jack Daniels! Moogle! PlayStation All-Stars is a really fun game. Like, it's got, it's got problems, but it's really fun. Smash is good too. I mean, they're different games, so. I like Melee better than I like PlayStation All Stars. But I really like PlayStation All Stars. I don't know, the good thing about this game is because there's no life bar, you can make good comebacks if you're able to dodge. But at the same time, you're not rewarded for outplaying your opponents. Yeah. No, it, you start in like the same small area and then it opens up. <laughs> it does. No, no, it, it doesn't it, skip. It, it doesn't it skip fills, that bar. It fills the normal. Yeah, well, that's a smart stage, not like Stowaways, which is a terrible, bad, awful stage. All right, so we got Team Fuck Tanner versus Team Fuck Team Fuck Tanner. Oh, that's a fit. I'm a dude. He's a dude. Just do She's Fuck Team dude. Fuck Tanner. We're all dudes. Hey, I'm a dude. Ah. Oh. <laughs> fuck Team Fuck. That's good enough. I love this map. This map is so cute. Though, very lopsided for certain characters. The stage is way too big. I also like the uh, the face on the side of that box. <laughs> because like when you really just look at it, it gets really funny. <laughs> the Leonardo face? Yeah, it was serious Leonardo face it is. The, uh, the, the Luchador is, is godlike. But like the Leonardo I, I like face the Garden Gnome really Creeper behind fun. the house. He's just like, I will. I, yeah, man. Don't the, don't go to sleep. There are a lot of really <laughs> funny things in this stage that like other people. I mean, some some commentators like to watch the match and. Dude, things, the shovel just fell over. That was godlike. Original. There was a shovel in the background. It just fell over. And the gnome jumps every time there's a big hit. Yeah. All right. So there's a match happening. It looks like we're having a uh, split strategy from uh, one or two of the teams. Oh, nice dodge. Radix says, get the fuck out of here, Parappa. <laughs> Bobby C's being an asshole. How so? Timing out people for no fuck reason. Fuck Tanner. <laughs> fuck Tanner. His name was Tanner. Fuck him. How do I unban him? Yeah, but how do I untime him out? <laughs> Ten minutes? Jesus, that's way too long. Shit, Bobby was too mean. I'll type it out. Unban. You could just, if you want to do that, you could just ban and then unban. How do you unban? You just do that, but you time it out. Kitten sin mittens. Kitten sin mittens. There we go, he's unbanned. No! We apologize for our transactions. I'm not gonna make him wait. Drake, Drake is pretty good. <laughs> Drake, this game, this. <laughs> oh, America. <laughs> Can I make him a mod now and, for saying that? Like? And Ken Sin Mittens with his, with his comeback speech. We should just commentate the stream. <laughs> Arya Skate <laughs> saying that uh, level 3 ain't bad either after his original comment that level 2 is good. He enjoys Drake saying that it's closest to MVC3. Chris, I'm going to have to agree with that because um, I feel as if Drake is a well-rounded character, 
but there's no, there's nothing exceptional about him. Except like, once he gets a hit, he does build quite a great deal in meter. He can combo into his level two, so he's kind of like Kratos in that regard. But I think Kratos is a better support character. Yeah, that's true. Barrel into level one does work. It, it yeah, team fuck, fuck team fuck is going for a level three. <laughs> Yeah, but that's unimportant. In my opinion, Radix's probably the stronger gun support character just because of his range on his guns is better. My favorite character is Nathan Drake. Jack's level 3 is uh, light games, mode Jack. And he has the most guns, and whoever has the most guns is the best character I in the game. I have 400 guns! <laughs> uh, no, I, I didn't pull you over because you were recording me. I pulled you over because you called me a butt fucker and uh, made the made the V with your fingers and put your tongue in between it. I have over 400 guns! N new Dante, second costume is shirtless. Shoutouts to shirtless. Constitution! There's a lot of characters that can go shirtless in this fucker. game. That's a PG-13 word. You could, you could say six swear words before it becomes rated R. There's like some rule in movies. Oh, we got light jack. Push buttons. Wait, how do you get dark jack? Dark jack's level two. Oh. Interesting. Light jack is pretty strong. You just fly all over the place. Yeah, it, it's uh, like I said, mobility, godlike. <laughs> oh, we got skateboard. Oh, nice dodge. Up, oh, didn't dodge that one. Oh God, Radic. Okay. All right, this is an even match. We got two people with level twos, and uh, each team has three stocks total. <laughs> Light Jack is basically supersonic, yeah. Uh, so I just want to say this right now. Uh, Sir Daniel isn't a good character because he uses a filthy European sword instead of the Japanese katana, which is the greatest weapon ever made. Fucking weeaboo. <laughs> because I don't know if you guys have seen the video where the katana slices the bullet in half, but it's very obvious to me and my other sword users that the katana is the most unbeatable weapon of all time. Ah, uh, so uh, we've got a... Wait, can we ban spec Specs SRK for that? All right, good. Wait, no, we have to delete his comment. You misspelled his name first. Ah, uh, fucking. Shout outs to typos. <laughs> wow, just run up to it. Oh, there we are. So, uh, let's see if they. Oh, looks like they're not changing their strategy. If you guys don't think that katanas are the best weapons in the world, just watch Bleach, you fucking idiots. Just, just watch Bleach, the greatest anime of all time. Probably next to One Piece. <laughs> Shoutouts to Buckets of Dust. Buckets of Dust. English. Fuck English. We animu here. We only speak anime. My favorite Japanese I went anime. down to the beach and I was like, Ugu. My my favorite thing is whenever people are talking about anime, I'm like, yeah, you know, my favorite anime is probably Adventure Time. And they're like, that's not an anime. I'm like, oh, uh, are you fucking retarded? Of course it's an anime. It's I animated. Did, that's what it I stands did, for, you dumbass. I did the same thing, but I used my Little Pony, <laughs> best anime. Their, their eyes are to like 50% of their head. That's the requirement, right? Yeah. <laughs> Or like, whenever people are talking about anime, I'm like, yeah, that reminds me a lot of Dragon Ball Z. That was my favorite anime. And then people are like, oh, oh, God. God be chain me. Dude, regular show, pretty godlike. No, do you know what the best anime is? Best anime was Toonami. <laughs> Fuck you. That was an anime. I don't care. They did make a storyline. Yeah, he died. That shit was hardcore. My favorite anime Tom character is Charles Bronson. My favorite anime is DMX-chan. <laughs> DMX-chan? Alright. 
you guys watch out for my new hit game, Thug Master. <laughs> it's uh, the exact game mechanics of Idol Master, but with new of your favorite thug skins, <laughs> such as DMX Chan and Dr. Dre Sensei. Also, shout outs to uh, Charles Barkley Shut Up and Jam Gaiden 2. Check that shit out, it's godlike. So, uh, we've got super building going on. Because uh, that happens. Is this the first thing you commented about the whole match? I think so, yeah, I think I just looked at it. I mean, it's about to get interesting as soon as someone does a super. Hey! Oh. Oh, and Jack with the, the uppercut. I told him to do. <laughs> he gave him the D. Dude, Wakfu is godlike. 50 Cent Sama. God, 50 Cent Sama. Hey, one of my friends, because I was like, yeah, I like really manly animes like Dragon Ball Z and Gundam. Well, not really Gundam. I don't, I, I've actually never watched an episode of Gundam. But he suggested me an anime called Boku no Pico. And <laughs> I, I don't know if that show is good or not, but he said it was really manly. So I don't Snoop Lion is also my favorite human being in the world. <laughs> Shoutouts to, uh, what was it? 200,000 karma in one day from his AMA. Oh, oh, oh! Face swag yellow pillar. I have to say, I did like bo 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 That was pretty good. No one enjoyed that. No one enjoyed that except for Bobby. I mean, Bobby just enjoys muscles. Yeah, that's true. All right, so, so with my ex-girlfriend, we were watching The Terminal with Tom Hanks. And you know that really sad part where he finds out that he can't go home and he's like crying on the couch? Or on like the terminal couch. Well, a Bowflex commercial, what like came on after the cross cut or after the jump cut, it was wow. just like this really just fucking ripped dude like pulling weights. <laughs> and I started laughing really hard, and she looked at me like, "What's wrong with you?" <laughs> I don't know, man. Muscles is just we'll really funny. One. Sure. All right. It looks like uh, Bobby Siege and friend. If you, if you, no, we'll give this someone else. We're going to give this Sleazoid to come. That works. All right, so I'm going to sign off. All right, we have to go, uh, we have to go fuck these sack boys. Yeah. We're into that. Black Mage and Sleazoid here on the mic. In the butt. Say hi, Black Mage. I own over oh, 400 guns. On? I know oh. my right. Constitution, ass cop, butt fucker. Put your team in already. All right, let's go. All right. So we have Team Moogle Parade is the best. Um, apparently against Team Moogle Parade is the best. Moogle Parade is going to be playing against himself. He's yeah. going to be playing all four controls at once. Two of his hands and two of his feet. All four sack boys. All four Just sack boys. Okay, so Cakes team everywhere. Moogle, team Moogle Parade is the best versus Team Bobby Siege and Friends, realistically. It's um, going to be amazing to watch, people. Yeah, He's going to be dancing I'm into cakes. And I'm actually really curious if Bobby Siege is going to stick with uh, Sly or if he's actually going to... Pick Kratos this time. Sly does have a very good level one. He's not playing with Dacid, bro, so maybe he does feel That's Sly's true. a better... Maybe. Uh, perhaps it's a little weird to say that Bobby Against. and Dacid are a little used to playing with each other. Well, they they, they do play on a team a lot, though. Um, two Sack Boys is a really stupid team, though. <laughs> so we'll see how this it's goes. It's fine. He's getting hurt. We won't see him after next week. It's a shame what happens to the patch, though. Have you heard? No. The recent patch that's supposed to nerf Sackboy is also freezing PS3s and Vitas. Oh, that's good. So they stopped distributing it after about three hours. Okay. Well, hopefully they fix that. Hopefully. All right. Sony so will get it together. Double team Sackboy. Um, some of the controls got switched around. Now, the interesting thing here is the, uh, the whatever play you are actually determines your starting position. Oh, yeah. So the... Uh, the sack boys will have to. Yeah, rush the to well, the sack boys will be on the ends, on the ends, and the uh, the blue will be in the middle. But I don't think that matters too much because you can move Toro? right away before it Are starts. Are you really seeing Toro? No. no okay, he's still a Sly. <laughs> okay. 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 
So we have Evil Cole, who's going to be throwing projectiles all over the place. Yeah. Two sack boys who are also going to be throwing projectiles all over the place. And some invisible raccoon bastard. But so. he can't block, so it's okay. Yeah. Alright, so this should be interesting. Um, so, the banning stages. It's a very long process. Yeah, I, uh, I feel there needs to be a better way to do this, but... I think we, there should be like a a sheet of paper with all the stages written down. We just cross them out one by one. I think you always pick random. <laughs> now the random in this game is stupid. You get like the same stages. You five get times Dojo in a row. like three out of five yeah. times. I think a problem with random is there are more big stages than there are small stages. Yeah. I don't know. Like some of the stages, I also are really bad. Um, more so with hazards on. Like I hate Alden's tower. I hate Alden Tower in general, actually. But, I like um, Alden Tower with Hazards On, but Hazards Off is just, it's a plain old stage. Yeah, um, apparently, uh, Stowaway is still the same with, uh, Hazards Off, which is interesting. How it still starts you in the, the room. I can't think of any other Hazards that are in that stage. Um, the thing from Bioshock Infinite comes in. Okay, but they did end up all, on Alden Tower. Um, okay. this is a really stupid stage for Cole. Like, it, it favors him, as far as I can tell, really heavily. I'm not sure why, but Bobby, uh... Mike was saying something about it earlier, and he was doing really well. That said, Sackboys already have the level 1, um, which isn't hard for them to get, but yeah. It's an interesting choice, because there's a fight for the middle, which forces the Sackboys out of position. Yeah. But well, it's because the middle drops meter, which yes. is really important. So control of the middle in this stage is... Uh, I don't want to say key, because there are like, other things you can do. It doesn't okay, drop wow. too much meter, but yeah. it's still but a significant Three amount. meter is three meter. Yes. Um, okay. So Cole already has uh, has killed one of the sack boys once. Um, Will they try to focus one of the sack boys or just? Oh wow! Ooh. Just does the raw level one kits Cole. Yeah, I had a, uh, I would assume they'd focus on one sack boy at a time. Uh, it also helps that the sack boy that has two lives also has the most meter. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Evil maybe Cole, I, I, he's maybe they don't the even know the difference one. though. But yeah, uh, the other big thing though is. Um, because it's like it's a lot easier to, in my opinion it's a lot easier to take on two uh, or one person even if they have more lives than it is to take on two people in general oh wow normally in a two versus one you have the risk of getting double killed by the one but yeah. sack boy supers that's not really an issue all right so player one almost with his uh, his level three up really close this is going to be bad for uh for bobby siege and friends evil cole is definitely looking for the throws against all right he's got right level now. three. Oh. There should be at least three kills. Um, he could knock Evil Cole out right now. Um, and yeah, he might. Oh, wow. Ooh, That's really smart. under the stage. I've never seen that. That's he's going to fall once he unbubbles, though, and then it's That's a free true. kill. Yeah, player four advantage is that. And there and he goes. There we go. The other sack huh. picks it up. He ironically turned into Cole when he killed him. So, all right. Sly on one life. We'll see what happens. A double sack boy is a really stupid team. I don't think. Yeah. Sly might be able oh, to wow, get but gets nope. the level one. There he does. <laughs> All right. So. Is this I'm willing to finals? bet Bobby. Uh, yes, the winner's finals. Winner's finals. Bobby is changing to Kratos. So that's a smart uh, choice. Kratos has really long normals, which is really good to uh, get sack boy as well. That homing forward square that makes people rage so much. Yeah. The bane of online existence. So Moogle Parade is banning a stage, uh, and then Bobby will pick. You know, Bobby and friends will pick. The big planet was banned. And they are picking Black Rock Twisted Stadium. Metal. Twisted Metal, okay. It's a very difficult stage to play keep away on due to that wall in the middle. Oh yeah, because it, it's the wall in the middle, plus it's a huge stage. Like, you can play keep away, but it's, it's situational. I think There's also that like, hill in the center that yeah. really... Like... It really messes up projectile. Yeah, I think it, I think it messes with zoning a lot. Yes. Um, that said, keep away is different because there are characters like Toro and Parappa who can feed themselves meter. Yes. Um, I think they can benefit from this if done right. Um, but it, that's also situational. Um, Kratos already on a roll. Yeah, Kratos going in. Um, does not want them to get it. But player one has the level one already. And about a quarter of the way to his level two. Player four also has no meter, though, due to Kratos. Yeah. Um, 
So for the and kills, now he's going on both of for them. the kills, they're definitely going to want to focus on uh, player one. Player one, definitely the stronger link on this team. Yeah, um, did a lot of work last game. But right. now they're in position. Now Cake. they're trying to fight as one. This cake's going through. Okay, Kratos, Kratos gets, gets in, in. But see, the problem with them fighting as one is if they get in on one, they get in on both. Not so much with Evil Cole, since his normals don't have Evil Cole does have a lot, yeah. But if Kratos gets in... Kratos um, gets in. So it's interesting to see what role Evil Cole will take in this game. Oh, yeah. oh wow, Evil almost Cole... Almost got a double kill there. Yeah. Pick out player 1-1, one, one. that's smart. Definitely want to go for him. Oh. Player 1 jumps out of that. Kratos getting close to his level 2. Yeah, that's good for Kratos. I know Bobby's really good at comboing into that. Is going to save for 3 that. or... It looks like he's fishing for the two. He's probably, yeah, probably going to try to combo into the two. Um. Oh, but Team Sackboy is definitely aware of it. They're staying apart. Yeah. So They're trying to do that smart, keeping uh, player one as far away as I can. But he gets the tornado. That was well done. There was no way he could get out of that that I know of. Um. Still, they forced the level two to be used for just one kill. That's, That's not true. entirely efficient. But with well, Kratos' level two isn't that great for multi-kills in general. It's okay, but you have to get them below you. Oh, yes. uh, above you. Not an easy uh, task on this stage. That sack boy <laughs> running around, he really wants to get that level three. Um. Four player sack boy is definitely struggling, still only on one meter. Yeah. But at this point I think the priority for four player sack boy is to like is to keep him off one. Um, oh. He, oh wow. He uses the meter to get the kill off the the lightning trap. Perhaps he realizes he's not getting level three. Yeah. Maybe. Now at this point, if player one gets level three, Kratos is gone. He's out of the fight. Oh wow! Okay. Oh no. That's player f uh, four, so that's good. Yeah. If uh, if player one does, if he does it right, um, this is a big stage, but it doesn't mean much because Sackboy's level three is yes. incredibly stupid. And knocking Kratos out of this fight is going to be huge for yeah. their team. Oh, yeah, I mean, as I've said, I think uh, if you can take out one character, it, the matchup changes drastically. Uh, it's incredibly hard to come back from that. Um, it's definitely said, a good reason to yeah. play this game stock instead of to kill limit. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh wow. Ran into the uh, the trap oh and he gets the uh, the level one again. You know, player four going for those level ones and it's working very well. Player one almost has his level three. Um, Bobby, uh, they're definitely going to want to try to grab him. I think they're going for it, but they're playing very smart, staying out of the range of the projectiles, um, trying to make sure they can build as low as possible. But they got the jam. Here it comes. It's going to be Evil Cole against the two sack boys remaining. Yeah, Kratos is already gone. Evil Cole down to two lives. Um, and he gets one. Yeah, he's not going to have time for another, but that's still huge. Evil Cole does have a Cole level has one. one yeah, level one. Back. We'll see what happens. If I mean, he can potentially get a double if, kill with it. If he can kill player one, he has a shot. Yes. He has a legitimate shot if he can take out player one. Um, with two players still, though, it's incredibly hard so we'll, we'll see what he can do um, he's gonna need to charge that arm up again there it is if you didn't know evil Cole lacks an ability to combo oh but he gets the uh, unless his arm is charged okay all right so that does that I don't know if it's three out of five or two out of three because this is winners finals um, great Uh, I guess it is three out of five. So. What do you feel about the evil pull choice going into the third round? Um, evil pull. I mean, he, he seems to be uh, he seems to be Mike's best character. Um, evil Cole kind of mind fucks me because I have no idea what he does. Like his his level one is kind of weird. He picks you up and throws you. It's more or less the same as regular Cole's, but he has a ability to combo into it. Huh? When he charges up his arm, he gets that arm. Yeah, and he can he can crumple them basically yes. and do it. Yeah. Um, and then he throws you if he hits you with the throw, it kills your teammate. And if it hits uh, your teammate, then yeah, yes, if it gets it's a double hit kill. your teammate, it kills you. So that's. I'm going through the banning of stages. Um. Well, really, one of them. All, uh. Actually, I don't even know if there's another ban because there's usually only one. But yeah, it's uh. I believe still Bobby and Mike's pick since they lost. Um, but I don't think they can pick the same stage again. I could be wrong. Hmm. 
Oh. So I guess this stage with hazards off doesn't change. Um. Normally I, there's an explosion that takes out the truck and the building on the right. Yeah. But that might still be there. Um. But I think, I think there's other hazards. I honestly can't remember. There's I also those annoying bubbles at the end, but. Oh right. Yeah. Yeah. I really see that. The stage doesn't change. I think it's a really bad stage for keep away since there's so many levels. That's true. Um. It's I mean, even, even if it stage. does change, it's still. I think this is a smart stage, uh, stage choice by Bobby, uh, Bobby and Mike. And Kratos, yeah, it does change though. This time, um, Bobby is focusing on player four. Not sh okay. Bobby getting the combos in. Already has his level two up. He is just going in this time. Um, and this is a much smaller stage than last time. Twisted uh, Metal being one of the biggest stages in the game. If it's not still the quite a big stage. Though. This is a fairly large one. Yes. Um, Simply due to the extra platforms, and that building on the right did get destroyed. Yeah. Oh wow! Oh. Hits uh, hits him out of the grab. That was smart. It looks like Bobby is definitely trying to save up for level three, though. He might be. Um, he might just be waiting for the right time to use his super, though. There Cole gets to level one. There aren't too many Hold opportunities on. for a good level two here, though. Yeah, I know he can combo into it. Um, I don't know if he's going to want to use that, though. He might be going for the level 3. It's that might be smarter. For one kill. It's That's not true. Really. Yeah. Um, and I'm willing to bet they're going to be trying to focus now on player 1 because he does have the most meter. And he's uh, on two stocks right now. Yeah, yeah. That's true. And less, li less lives and most meter means you want to get him out of there fast. Yes. Four players actually keeping up this time. He's not too far behind from player 1. No. This is a very interesting match. Kratos sitting on a lot of meter. Uh, Evil Cole doing a lot of will uh, really good support. Ooh, he gets um, that And he gets the kill again. Oh! There it is. All right. It's player one down to one life. He needs to be careful. Player well, one goes I mean, down. It, it, it would be it for Sackboys. Yeah. Um, I mean, that said, if player one can get his level three before then, it won't be as big. Um, this goes for the level two. Oh. That's not a bad idea, um, and it took out Bobby, who had just basted the meter on his level two as well. He was going for the kill yeah, on really, player really one, well for them, which yeah, would've which would've which would have been basically. smart. Yes, uh, but yeah, he got, I think, got a little too desperate there. And player one has the level three, and here he goes. And Kratos should be gone. Yeah, Kratos is gone, and it's up to Evil and Cole, Cole once again with one life left. Maybe, could he possibly? Oh my no. god! He killed He's all of them. That is chance. Wow. Sackboy is stupid. Um, Alright. And I believe we're now on to losers finals. Uh, yeah, I believe yeah, that's... Play, yeah. Alright, so I gotta go play. So I believe Moogle Parade needs to get on and change the team names. Which he's doing right now. Spear Juice not doing his job. I'm just gonna say everyone now. I'm not fucking around anymore. <laughs> Why is Spear Juice watching Marvel? He doesn't play that game. It's Bobby Siege and Friends and Losers. Not quite as expected. Normally Bobby Siege plows through everyone because he plays this game the most. And Team Fuck Tanner wins the rock, paper, scissors to decide who starts the banning phase. Now he's sitting, wait, does everyone bans their stages? <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, we're the hated ones because we went sack boy, sack boy. Fuck you guys. He's getting nerfed, you won't win next tournament. You're gonna have to play. I'm probably switching mains after the sack boy nerf. Yeah. You're going to have to play Double Fat Princess instead. I might go to Fat Princess then. Double Fat Princess, we'll do it. She was okay. She was, okay, she was your first. <laughs> she was her... <laughs> she was your... <laughs> really? <laughs> you serious? 
Mooka played hella good with that princess. Running it back like 3 1. None of that. Hey, guy. Calvin. The first banning stage always takes the longest because they ban every single stage until they come up with one that they choose to play on. The other phases, they just ban one and then the loser picks. One I was the first like. one in this arcade to fix Sackboy. I don't want to hear it from anyone. Because I was too busy talking, I didn't notice what stage they were playing on. What stage were they on? I was paying attention. I don't fucking Nobody know. Nobody noticed what stage they're on. We're all going to find out. Wait, Twisted man. Metal, fuck this stage. Kratos already going in. Square, square, square. So, Team Bobby Siege and Friends going with the same Evil Cole Kratos constellation. And team Fuck Tanner also going with the same Drake and Parappa constellation. Parappa very good on this stage since he can just run away and set up boomboxes and build up meter for free without interacting with the opponent at all. His only killing power is his level 2. And he, can, and he can't get more than maybe 1 in his level. He doesn't have to set up the meter for himself. He can give the meter to the other guy. I see the argument you're trying to make, but I still think you're wrong. <laughs> it's just this team isn't doing it right. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Perhaps is picking up all the meter for himself, not giving it to Drake. Because Drake's level 2 is really good on this stage. There's a lot of corners that you can't really escape from. I can see that. And his level <laughs> also picked up just a kill just And now. Team Fuck Tanner gets the first kill. What? Wrong. Fuck! No. I'm done! What the fuck? That's a nice throw. There's a lot of meter being sat on right now. Nobody using it for level Fuck off! I don't talk to people! Kratos is level two. I actually, I do. Saving for level 3, perhaps? Level 2 is not that good on the stage. Oh. Who do you play, Calvin? I'm cutting you off. But it's okay, I can barely hear you. It's fine, whatever. <laughs> there we go, Mr. Parappa's level 2 is not that good. He just got two kills with it. And he's gonna get two more. And the amount of time it takes for Evil Cole to get over there, perhaps is going to set up two boo boxes like and get 60 meter for free. Parappa is unique in that he is the only character who can generate meter without fighting anyone. So he can force people to come to him rather than the other way around. But now it's a two against one for Evil Cole and We've seen before the Evil Cold does not do too well in these situations. So is our team if he does, this Evil Cold just isn't. Oh, okay. Our strategy... Yeah, but that's because, that's because our strategy... Oh, that's right. Mm. This is just not a good look for Team Fuck Tanner right now. I have the teams mixed up because I drank too much alcohol, I'm sorry. Evil Cole goes for the super, misses. Drake doing what he does best and shooting grenades that explode. And Parappa level 2 closes out the game. We again do not know... We again do not know what stage they're going to. <laughs> 
please forgive us. This is what happens when one commentator isn't paying attention and the other is drunk. His best combo is oh, actually... Oh, kill zone. This stage sucks. Parappa's best combo for meteor building is actually probably... Uh, he goes into his square down square, which is an uppercut, and and jump cancels, falls, about, falls oh. around with the... Uh, what's it called? The mic pull, and then square square. That gives around 150. He's trying to, but again, like, if you try long combos in this game, it's like, it, yeah. Parappa really going in on Evil Cole. Cole has no meter at all. Parappa already sitting on one and a half. This is How perhaps not no a meter. very good stage for Evil Cole at all. Ooh. Yeah, look at that. Gets a throw on Drake. Starting Parappa to catch up. Parappa just did the combo I was trying to enunciate through. Comes Parappa with the level two. And he only gets two kills out of it. Which is good. Bobby Siege, really going in with Kratos, getting 100 meter just there. But he's going to face the same problems he saw in the last few Say fights. Level about 2 that is super. not too good on this really stage. He might die before he gets to see level 3. Kratos is down to the last stock, but only about 200 meter away from his level 3. Once he gets that, he can grab maybe 4 kills. He's oh, and he gets thrown by Drake. Loses 107 meter. Throws in this game are the main way to remove meter from an opponent. Items and hazards also cause opponents to lose meter, but we have them disabled because... Items off. Final destination. And here comes Kratos' level 3. You, you need to make a rock opera like soundtrack with your voice right now. Really? Yes. Why? That's the rules of Kratos' level 3. Kratos! Oh! Parappa, very slippery. Avoids getting killed by Kratos. But his partner is now gone, so it's a 2 against 1. But as you mentioned earlier, the risk in a 2 against 1, Parappa can get 2 kills with his level 1. That's always something that Team Blue will need to worry about. But aside from that, they're going to have a huge advantage over Prappa as long as they can keep him locked down and keep him from getting the double kill. He does have level 1 though, so we might see a yellow flash kick at any moment. Oh! Evil Cole picks up a kill. Prappa's down to his last stock. There's the flash kick, but no good. Here comes the Kratos combo. Things looking grim now for... Oh! That was some great teamwork there. Evil Cole set up the crumple and then Kratos picked up the kill. It is 1-1 now. This is loser's final, so it is first to three. Why is Street Fighter still playing on the SF25 stream? I thought they were done. It's motherfucking Daigo. What happened to HD Remix? I wanted to see that. I wanted to see Damn Die Option Select some fools. I missed Damn Die Option Select and fools with T Hawk? That's fine. It's worth it. So here we are at the banning process once again. Good. That option select is too good. We're going to see HD Remix 2013 where it's removed. Chun-Li gets buffed. I agree with you, but only if you don't know what's exactly what's going on. Show them how to be 
a shark. I'm gonna be a shark. I believe you, Bobby. Oh my god. Stage Jack and Daxter. If you watch Bobby really closely or um Mike, you can't with with hazards off, you can't there's no actual ramifications of being in the water. Besides there's no you get, reason to get out of the water with hazards off. There's absolutely zero reason to get out of the water. Most characters are completely inept at harming people who just sit in the water. So, if you, if you can see the strategy Bobby's implementing, he's a shark. So he's just going to be in the water. Well, he's not doing it anymore, but when, when, when the opportunity arises, he's going to do such. Kratos picked up Brava and just tossed him. That was some Donkey Kong shit right there. It looks like Drake is going to play the gatekeeper, keep Kratos from getting back up. Nope, never mind. Kratos going for the throw, finding nothing. I'm not sure what's going on. Right now, everybody's sitting on pretty much an equal amount of meter. Ooh, evil kill scoops up Drake, tosses him into the portal. Parappa falls down to the lower level. He's going to start seeing problems now from Kratos, who's going to keep him from getting back up. He's going to be a dick. One of the defining aspects of the stage is that there's only one way. Everyone getting, ooh. Everyone getting excited about AE on SF25 stream. Yes, we are watching it here at Game Center, where we secretly like Capcom games. When's Marvel? Kratos continuing to build meter. Going for level 3 again, probably. Prappa picking up 2 kills to the skateboard. He's not going to get any more. He normally get 4, but I don't know. Oh! Evil Cole landed an amazing bionic arm, crumpling both characters, but Kratos activated his level 3 immediately, so he didn't really get to capitalize. But he's going to pick up 3 kills for the effort. And Drake is now out. It's Parappa against 2 characters yet again. 4 socks to 1 is going to be a huge challenge for Parappa. He's gonna need to somehow YOLO flash kick twice and get a double kill. Not happening against Kratos. He is looking for it though, he's looking for that opportunity to get double kills. It's very doable here on Jack and Daxter due to the uneven terrain. Oh, and he gets scooped up and tossed out by Evil Cole. Grand this is not Grand Finals, this is Losers Finals. Oh. Yeah. You're going right back in it. I think the stage was Twisted Metal this time. Who the fuck knows? I think it's Twisted Metal. It's going to be Twisted Metal, just watch. Ah, uh, I was right, Twisted Metal. Congratulations. Ha, oh, ha, ha. they're going back to character select. Dave's Stupid Rule. Dave's Stupid Rule coming into effect. Is that from Smash? Yes, it is from Smash. It is named after Dave, who is apparently stupid. Or perhaps he isn't stupid, just the rule is stupid. It, well, it is Dave's Stupid Rule, not Dave is Stupid Rule. When's fighting his magic? 
But anyway, according to Dave's stupid rule, you once you have played game? on a stage once, you can't play on it again. <laughs> That's Dave's stupid rule. It is kind of stupid. I'm sure Dave is a smart dude. Uh, Dave's stupid rule is if you want on that stage, you can't pick it. Apparently, I don't know anything about Dave's stupid rule. Stage is now Hades. It has us off its rather uninteresting stage. I'm sorry, I'm kind of biased. I like hazards on. Evil Cole putting in work this time. Team no. Fuck Tanner has n no meter at all. I believe Dave only has one stupid rule. Kratos already very close to his level 2. While only Parappa has low on level. Oh. If you didn't know, throws take out a percentage of the enemy's meter, so it's definitely more influential against an enemy who has two meters than against someone who has zero. And here comes Frapp well, with level two. We'll able oh, Cole, Cole is Cole juke the shit out of Parappa. Holy shit. Parappa only gets one kill for the two meters. Amazing play by Evil Cole. And now Kratos is going in balls deep against Parappa. Gets thrown and uppercut it, but... Oh. Jake almost had the infinite on him. Evil Cole just throwing away a Kuma fireballs into the fray. So on both teams, we have one person who has one stock each. If the team can secure a kill on that person, it becomes a two against one situation yet again. And oh, and Evil Cole gets the kill on Parappa. It's now two against one against Drake. Oh. Kratos thought his partner was helping him set up for a kill, but he launched him out. Saved him from the Kratos level one. Kratos content to set stack shoot arrows and everyone getting more excited about AE finals Unlike the previous two against one situations Drake is sitting on two stocks he could manage to win this his level one is very capable of getting double kills, but right now he is struggling against the combined forces of Evil Cole and Kratos. Oh. Once again, Bobby Siege going for the super, not getting it. Drake now has one meter. He could, if he gets a kill on Kratos right now, it becomes one against one yet again. He could potentially, oh. One, one sec, one sec. It was actually 6-0? What was 6-0? Are they playing like first to seven or something? No. Someone said infiltrating the losing bracket. Oh, Evil Cole takes a stock off, Drake. And what? Okay. Drake gets a kill. It's now two stocks to one. Drake is now completely without meter. He's going to have to struggle to find a way to get 150 meter against these two. 
Oh! <laughs> Now, two to one in favor of Bobby Siege and friends. It's now Team Fuck Tanner's turn to choose a stage. Mike Muscles, perhaps considering not choosing Evil Cole. Nope, oh, never mind. Evil Cole. Are they choosing the dojo? It is a very powerful stage for Parappa due to the small size. But is it perhaps the best choice against Kratos? We'll see. It looks like Infiltration has won. I see him holding a trophy. It looks like Ono is holding a check up with him. But anyway, back to the match. Back to the dojo where Kratos is wreaking havoc on everybody and anything that moves. Mashing square like a furious. Furious something, I don't even know. Perhaps this wasn't the best choice for Team Tanner as Evil Cole picks up a kill immediately. Ooh! Drake picks up a kill on Kratos, but Kratos already getting right back in there. Getting inside Parappa. Invading all of his 2D orifices. He's got level 2, and this is a good stage to set it up on. As long as Team Tanner wisely stays away from each other, they should be able to avoid a double kill. Oh, Bobby Siege goes for it. Level 2 for one kill. Gives no fucks. Just gonna get another one. Drake is already out of the match. All three of the kills were on him. Parappa going for the yellow flash kick takes out Kratos, but he still has one more stock left on Kratos to go. Here we see Kratos' massive normals. Perhaps this was not the best stage choice for Team Tanner. They are down 2-1, to one, so if they lose this, they are out of the tournament, and Team Bobby Siege will go on to the Grand Finals. Oh! Here we see Evil Cole with the, the crumpling bionic arm. It takes him some time to charge up his arm, but once he has it ready, he just needs to land that forward triangle. And then he gets a crumple, which is a free level one for him. Now we're down to one against one, Parappa against Evil Cole. Evil Cole already sitting on a meter, and he has the stock advantage, so it's a long fight ahead for Parappa. They're really just going all out right now. Evil Cole has two levels. His level two is not that great, which might actually put Cole in a disadvantage now. I know he can combo into his level 1, but I'm not sure if his... Oh! And there he gets it. Never mind. He can combo into his level 2, and he does it for the win. Alright. So Team Bobby Siege and Friends goes on to the Grand Finals against Moogle Parade is the best. Ready? Oh yeah! Yo, what's up, stream chat? I can actually see you guys now. What's up, Aria Skates?
for those tuning in, welcome to Finest KO. You're watching PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. These are the Grand Finals. We have Team Moogle Parade is the best against Bobby Siege and Friends. Consisting of Moogle Parade and someone I don't know against Bobby Siege and Mike Muscles Murphy. They're now going through the banning process. It's a very long process. Here we go, Team Double Sackboy against Kratos and Evil Cole. I don't know which Sackboy is which, but whatevs. So he seems to be setting up on the right side and Kratos doing what he does, getting in on both of them. Building tons of meter, He's dead. he is in the meter lead right now. And both Sackboys, strangely enough, on the same amount of meter. I don't know where you guys are hearing Hadoukens from, but we are nowhere near... Oh! Super Turbo in the background. It's chun against Ryu. Aw, oh, shit. Yo, Ryu is fucking chun -Li up. chun -Li doing what she does best, walking up forward and mashing strong. She's gonna get a throw. She's gonna option select her super. Gonna throw Kokens. Anyway, it seems while I was watching Super Turbo, Sackboy One lost the life, but Ooh. I'm assuming Kratos did it because he's the one who doesn't have meter. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. Team Bobby Siege and Friends definitely focusing the first sack boy. The second sack boy does not have very much meter. He's only got one meter, so if they take out the first one, they only have one sack boy to worry about, and that's much more manageable. Bobby, please stop eating cakes. And that forward square is the bane of online existence. Both sack boys approaching two meters now. So even if they take out the first sack boy, the second one is probably going to reach three meters. Ooh, Kratos tries to throw a fourth player, gets interrupted by player one. Not a good look. Evil Cole settling for just killing player four. 
does not care which sack boy he kills. Oh! Team Bobby Seaton Friends doing a very good job of keeping Sackboy from gaining meter. Neither of them have really gained a notable amount of meter since the last time I checked. And in the. They've also killed Sackboy 4 twice now. And while Sackboy has gained very little meter for it. Oh! Evil Cole goes for a super, misses this. And Sack Boys are setting up, doing what they do best, throwing jam all over the place. Oh! Cole gets the crumble, but has no meter for it, so he just has to go for a regular combo. Charges up his arm. Oh! He immediately goes for a bionic arm, catches Sack Boy, and tosses him into the wall. Things are looking grim now for Moogle Parade. As he now has to gain about 200 meter by himself against Kratos and Evil Cole. Kratos already has one meter, Cole very close to us to one as well. It's just a matter of setting up a combo right now. Level 2 seals it for Team Bobby Seat and Friends, who are now up 1-0. to zero. It's now Moogle Parade's turn to pick a stage. Bobby Siege apparently bans the stage that Moogle Parade wanted to pick. So now he must pick the second best one, which I guess is Alden's Tower. Nope, it's going to be Metropolis, Time Station. Metropolis. This stage is quite interesting with hazards off. Normally with hazards on, those two boxes on the side will just go in and out and the stage moves all over the place. It's kind of annoying. With hazards off, the stage kind of looks very standard, very tournament worthy. Very large still though, which means it'd still be a very good place for Team Sackboy to set up camp and start turtling. Everyone already on a meter except for Evil Cole. Perhaps struggling with the large stage size. Running into jams. Oh, Kratos misses the launch, gets thrown for his trouble. Sackboy gets a combo, gains a quarter of a meter for it. And he starts, oh my god. Evil Cole's Super 1 is capable of double killing if the person he picks up lands in the other one, as you just saw. Oh. Sackboy 4 manages to combo into a Super. See, seems he's not going to go for the level 3, or perhaps he's just willing to blow. Oh, and he goes for another Super, but misses, and gets double killed for his trouble. Things are looking very bad now for Team Sackboy. While Sackboy 1 is close to his level 3, they're now on one stock apiece. A kill on either of them results in a 2 against 1 for the remaining person. And Sackboy 1 still has to gain about 300 meter by himself. Oh, a 
crumple from Evil Cole into the Super 1. And he gets another Bionic Arm into Super 1. Those wondering the difference between Evil and Regular Cole is that Evil Cole can charge up his arm and then do the Bionic Arm, which leads into his Supers. While Regular Cole is, has freezing effects on his projectiles and is much better at staying alive and avoiding getting killed. And we're immediately going back into the third round. It's 2-0 for Team Bobby Siege and friends. They are in losers final, so they have to win two sets to win the tournament. While Moogle Parade merely needs to win one. But right now it looks like they're going to lose the first one. Because Kratos is all Kratos and Evil Cole both already very close to one meter each while Sackboy is struggling to gain meter. The Moogle Parade's Oh. I thought he had set up camp over on the right, up where he couldn't be reached, but he gave it up. The energy ball in the center of the stage will release meter once it's been fully charged. So even with hazards off, it's an interesting aspect of the stage. It's not very good for Sackboy because it makes the center very favorable to control, which is not something Sackboy can do very well. As you can see, they're trying to do it, but struggling to hold control against Kratos' amazing normals. This is looking very free right now. Evil Cole just throwing fools left and right. And he throws another one. Oh my god. Team Bobby Seager sets it. Escock, I don't know what the progress on tournaments are right now. We just went out for dinner, so I don't know what's going on. We might be streaming some some Mario Party games later on. Maybe some Dokapon Kingdom, some Guilty Gear, I don't know. Maybe even some Super Turbo. You'll just have to stay tuned and find out. Maybe even some Gundam. We're snake striking, yeah. Oh, I don't know. Let me find Spirit Juice and ask him. I don't even see that fucker. I think he's playing Marvel. Or he's out getting dinner. That's probably more likely. Oh, no. I think he's playing Mario. Ah, motherfucker. I wanted to play Marvel. Mario. Dreamscape? Dreamscape. I don't know which Gundam it is. It's the one that they have set up at Game Center and people are always playing it because it's hella hype. Yes, it's not Gundam the anime, it's Gundam the video game for the PS3. Uh, Resistance, San Francisco. If you guys want to watch Gundam, I can let Spirit Juice know and maybe we can have something set up so you can watch Gundam. Because I know there are at least six dudes right here who play that shit regularly. And they can put on a good show for you guys. Good luck, bitches. But anyway, we are playing on stage. I don't know what stage this is, it's just the really retarded one. Okay, Escox. I will find Spirit Juice and I will let him know. So this stage starts out very confined at first and then the cockpit blows open and then everyone gets shot out and it's and then it becomes a really big stage. But yeah, this initial stage is very cramped. Clusterfuck and someone usually dies before the cockpit opens. Yep, Sackboy dies. Kratos already has two meters. Evo Cole already has a meter, even though he just killed someone. Ooh. And Bobby Siege and Friend pick up another two kills. Ooh! Sackboy's 
Sackboy4 picks up a kill on Kratos. Perhaps they want to eliminate him from the game. Get him out of there. And as we've seen before, Evil Cole not too great by himself. Once they can remove Kratos, definitely much more manageable. But Oh, Sackboys are setting up camp inside the plane. And Kratos doing what he does best. Coming in and fucking shit up for everyone. Ooh. Sackboy 4 picks up another kill on Kratos. He's on one stock now. Everyone except Evil Cole sitting on one stock. Things can really go either way at this point since both teams have someone with two meters and one stock. Is Moogle Parade gonna really turtle out and try to get level three or is he gonna just blow it on level two right now? Evil Cole getting tossed around despite not having much meter and oh! Kratos goes right in. It's now 1-0 for Bobby Siege. Someone gets mad and goes to PlayStation Home. Oh, Sage is uncharted. That's what that game is. That's what that Sage is from. People getting excited for Super Turbo in the background. Ryu has been replaced with Fei Long. Chun Li is still walking forward and mashing strong. Getting a throw. Throwing Kokens. Here we are, back to Paris. Sly Cooper, Kratos, Sackboys, and Evil Cole. Kratos just sitting back, shooting arrows. Kratos' arrows don't cause flinching, so there's no hit stun from eating them, but Kratos still gets meter from them, regardless of whether they're blocked or hit. But it's not a lot of meter, and Kratos deciding you just go in, fuck shit up like he always does. Kratos, for once, the last person to reach level one. Everyone's sitting on a meter except for Evil Cole, who went for super, and Chun Li mashes strong, gets a throw on Fei Long. Everyone gets excited. Then Kratos, despite being the last to reach level 1, is the first to reach level 2. And he gets a double kill with his Tornado of Doom. Aw, oh, Gosu Lambo, I love that face. I am gonna copy and paste it in chat right now. Yeah. Bobby Season, friends. Doing a bit of role reversal, setting up camp against the Sack Boys. Kratos just standing back and blocking while well, Evil Fool shoots projectiles to null out Sack Boys projectiles. And decided they've had enough of that. And go back to playing normally. Evil Cole goes for super, catches nobody with it, and gets the yellow flash kick by Sackboy 4. Once again, Sackboy 1 saving up super. Not going for level 1s, going for level 3s, but we've seen these past rounds. He usually dies before he gets to level 3. Is he going to change that this round? He does have two stocks this time, which is a lot more than he usually has by the time he gets this amount of meter. The game is definitely taking a slower pace. They're definitely taking more calculated approaches to this matchup. Paris is a very weird stage. While the two sack boys going on Evil Cole, Kratos still sitting back, gaining meter. They're doing nothing, the mashing circle. Kratos. <laughs> Still only has one and a half meters. Evil Cole going in. 
picking up two kills while Kratos is slacking off. Sackboy has unfortunately not gotten any meters since the last time we checked up on him. And it's now one against two against Kratos and Evil Cole. He is landing a lot of throws against Kratos and playing more like a bitch, which is exactly what you need to do as Sackboy. But he gets a bionic arm and gets tossed across the stage. Evil Cole doing what he does best, bionic arming fools. And it seems now Team Bobby Siege is just trying to style um, okay. Rugal Parade. Kratos just sitting back and looking for his opportunity to look badass. I don't know the lap. Oh, they're gonna keep it simple. No, that was just him popping off. And Bobby Siege kind of pops off. Meanwhile, back in Brazil, Fei Long has been replaced with T Hawk, and we're now going to see a lot of throws happening. This T Hawk, nowhere near as good as Damn Dies, gets thrown twice by Chun Li. Chun Li doing what she does best, walking forward and mashing strong. Not even T Hawk can stop her. And T Hawk is dead. Fuck. Battle 48 wages on in Brazil. Oh, Chun Li misses an SRK, but it doesn't matter because she's mashing forward. Throws T Hawk again anyway. You're not getting punished. Mashes SRK again, but again, no punish. She's mashing strong. She's going to throw you. Oh. All right. Back to PlayStation All Stars. I totally agree with this. It's tough. I don't know what stage they picked, it doesn't really matter. Is now 2 0 for Bobby Siege and friends. They win this one, and oh fuck, it's kill zone. If they win this one, all $20 are theirs. No, they're not even getting $20, they're getting 70% of $20. $14. All $14 are theirs. Kratos being a dick, even though they're not playing on Jack and Daxter. Just short hopping and spiking pools into the ground. We've seen this stage doesn't really do too well for sack boys since due to the varying levels it makes it very easy to approach sack boy even when he set up camp. Moogle, Team Moogle Parade has gotten a kill on Kratos. Are we perhaps going to see their plan actually work and pay off? Kratos going to get knocked out. Ooh, Kratos killed again. Maybe it'll actually work this time. Bobby Siege gives no fucks. One stock, go balls deep. Nash Square, people get killed. Ooh, Sackboy might have had it right there. And neither Sackboy seems to be saving up for level 3. They're just focusing on killing Kratos right now. And Kratos is out. It is now 2 against 1 against Evil Cole. While Evil Cole, not as good as Kratos, still no slouch. He has been picking up kills, and he definitely can run this back because Sackboy 4 is already at one stock. He knocks him out, then it's a one against one. And Sackboy is not too terribly powerful in one against one. Oh! Bionic Arm, Super 1. Evil Cole, why are you so good? Oh. 
Evil Cole doing what he can, but he has run away a lot against the two Sack Boys. Even if it's Sack Boy, you do still have to run if it's two against one. Because once he gets pinned down, Sack Boy 1 is going to go for level 1. Oh! He gets the bionic arm and the super yet again. Unfortunately, it's not on Sackboy 4, but now at this point, he can go for either Sackboy. It won't really matter because they're both at one stock. And Cole still has three. Definitely holding his own against two Sackboys, but they might be able to start something right here. Nope. Cole gets out. Back to the neutral game. Oh. Cole charging up his bionic arm. Getting ready to kill someone else yet again. The sack boys are apart, so aw. Oh. Cole went for the arm, but missed completely against sack boy four. As I was saying, sack boys are separated, so if he does catch one of them, the other won't be able to stop Cole from picking up the kill. Ooh, he went for the arm again, but again, nothing. Normally in a two against one, there's a risk of getting double killed, but with Evil Cole, it's not so much of an issue since a double kill with Evil Cole requires him to pick up someone and then toss that person into his teammate. It's not like Kratos or Raiden where you both just get hit at the same time and a lot harder to react to. But Cole picks up the kill on Sackboy 4 and it's now one against one. Evil Cole with a stock advantage, but Sackboy at three levels. He gets the bionic arm, but with no meter, he has to go for a regular combo. And Sackboy dangerously close to three meters. Thank you. Yes. And Evil Cole throws Sackboy, knocks off a substantial amount of meter. When Sackboy is this close to level 3, you do have to consider throwing him. Because throws take off a percentage of the amount of meter you have stocked up. So against Sackboy, it takes off about 15% of his meter, which does set him back quite a bit. Yes, Sheriff Hor. The only way to kill someone is by hitting them with your super. It is an odd system, but once you get used to it, it's kind of interesting because there are characters who have very strong neutral games but lack the ability to combo into their super. And it creates a very interesting game dynamic as you can see right here as we have one character who can combo into a super, not the strongest neutral game, and another character who can't combo but has a very strong neutral game. And right now Sackboy is the one getting dominated as Evil Cole picks up two meters Right now, all he has to do is walk up to Sackboy and hit Super as his level 2 will kill anyone who stands near him. And there it is. Sackboy is dead. Bobby Siege and friends have triumphed over Moogle Free as the best. They have stomped the crap out of Team Double Sackboy. And they win $14.